So I thought I'd make another video uh, addressing something with Hemis for those of you who are big into Mopars here. Um, those of you who have switched over from LS tuning have realized very shortly after that Hemis absolutely do not take ignition timing like LS engines do. Um, and for a long time people haven't understood why. Um, even when the Hemi engine was introduced and people began, began racing, the large displacement mix with the large hemispherical chambers required that in order to get higher compression, they needed to make massive dome pistons, basically matching the sphere of the chamber itself. And what they found quickly was that they needed extremely high octane race fuel uh, because of the fact that when the combustion would start, it would take so long to burn that they were needing to run 40 to 50 degrees of timing at wide open throttle, which quickly led to a significant amount of engines being damaged. Um, one of the common failures would, was ring lands, uh, pistons breaking in half, um, the piston being torched, and these are still issues that we have today with the Hemi engine. Now. The Hemi engine uses a significantly smaller dome today, and the pistons are domed significantly less, so it is not as bad as it used to be, which is why we're making quality power at 20 to 22 degrees of timing and wide open throttle with a quality fuel. Um, so the Hemi is listed as one of the worst um, engine designs in history for making power out of today's modern engines. Um, Smaller engines with four valves and penthouse uh, cylinder chambers tend to make the best compression and utilize the least amount of timing to make power efficiently. Um, where the Hemi is on the other end of the spectrum, it needs a lot of timing to make quality power, but it needs the octane to do it. Um, 91 and 93 just isn't enough for these engines. These uh, Hemi engines even only being 10 to 11 to 1 actually make significantly more power with use of race fuel or ethanol uh, and that is so the Hemi can take full advantage of the combustion. Now something I haven't mentioned is the 16 spark plugs which is Dodge's way uh, or Chrysler whatever you want to call it's way of burning through the combustion more efficiently and now it obviously is more for uh, emissions than it is for making horsepower um, so um, that's it's just more of an explanation of, of why we see a lot of the issues we do today with ring lands uh, on top of that Dodge using significantly small ring lands even on the Hellcat the 6.4 and the 5.7 um, weak pistons weak rods it's just um, something Dodge has done for a very long time um, and that is one of the reasons why a LS engine with 12 to 1 compression can somehow still run 91 octane and 27 degrees of timing at wide open throttle without issues where the Hemi engine just can't do it it's 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 too much surface area to cover um, and it needs more octane to utilize it uh, properly um, now, if the combustion chambers were made half the size, you would have literally about half the problems. Now, that's not to say that the Hemi isn't a great engine, because it is. A 5.7 Hemi makes 400 horsepower. An LS1 has never made 400 horsepower from the factory, or 395. So, it is something to keep in mind that uh, the Hemi is good for making power, and even not being significantly high in compression will make a ton of power. Uh, what you want to keep in mind is when is the right time to switch from the 9193 to ethanol or race fuel on your build. Uh, you want to keep your Hemi alive, you need to either keep your timing low or you need to keep your octane high. And for most people, they want the power. So the octane is definitely going to be uh, the place where you want to make those gains. Um, so keep in mind when you're getting your Hemi tuned or you're doing the tuning yourself that you... Um, try your hardest to um, make sure that the person tuning your vehicle is doing it properly. Now what you're looking at here is a a tune that made essentially 300 wheel horsepower um, on a stock truck that had massive 37s on it. 
Um, we never got to dyno it again with the 30 factory 32s, but we'd imagine that it had been closer to actually 310 horsepower at the wheels, um, which was a very, very good gain of technically, I think, 35, 37 wheel horsepower. Um, I think this here actually, this exact file is 27 wheel horsepower over stock, and that's obviously with the 37s on both. So uh, if somebody has a fifth gen RAM that they'd like to bring in and get tuned and let us put it on the dyno so we can come up with a, an exact number, uh, please let us know. Now keep in mind these numbers here are tested. They work great. Um, one of the things is, is that if you were to copy any of these numbers I have on the screen, you're going to need to make sure that you're running a, a quality 91 to 93 because this this timing is on the borderline of uh, destroying an engine if the fuel does not um, meet quality standards. Um, now, now, like I said, that this doesn't mean that the Hemi's a bad engine. The Hemi's a great engine. I tune them all the time. I, I love the Hemi engine. Um, there's some things that the Hemi has that I find is better than the LS engine. And we'll continue to make videos for that in the future. So so here what you're seeing is a very good timing map for Hemi. Now let's go and let's, let's show you something from my personal vehicle collection. This here is a fully built LS7 aftermarket heads, massive cam. You cannot even buy a cam this big for an LS7. Um, this fast 102 manifold, uh, Nick Williams 102 throttle body, Luminati tie bar lifters. Um, we went all out on this and we made it a very... Um, a very awesome build per se. Now there's some things here. I haven't tuned this vehicle in years, but there's some things that obviously that I would I would make changes to in here. Uh, but what you can see here, now this vehicle revved 8,400 RPMs. Now the last time I tuned this, we couldn't modify these labels, so that's why it stops at 7,200. Uh, but you can see here, we were running 29 and a half degrees of timing at wide open throttle with the zero knock zero detonation uh this engine was running 12 to 1 uh, and it was running just 91 octane so there are ways to be able to run that kind of timing um without experiencing issues now with that being said this ls engine this is to kind of to show you how much easier it is for an ls engine to take that kind of timing without issues based on the fact that it has a smaller flatter combustion chamber versus the Hemi.